not wizards. This is Teacher Mel, and let us explore the world of math. For today's lesson, we focus on factoring general trinomial x squared minus 9x plus 18. The first step, ano yung unang step natin? We copy lang. We copy it. And then our constant is positive 18. What's the second step? Good. We are going to find all the factors of number 18. Since it's a positive, meaning it's either positive times positive or negative times negative. So we list all the factors. We have 18 times 1. Negative 18 times negative 1, 9 times 2, negative 9 times negative 2, 3 times 6, and negative 3 times negative 6. All of the factors of that, when we multiply that, the result is positive 18. What's the second step? We need to find the factors of 18. Now, when we add them, the result must be negative 9. Alin kaya dito, yung pag pinag natin, the result is negative 9. Dapat yung result niya, yung middle number natin. Try natin. 18 and 1. Oh, that's 19. Dapat negative 9 ang result. Negative 18 and negative 1. Oops, that's negative 8, 19 ang sagot. Dapat ang sagot natin ay negative 9. Oh, review ko lang ulit ha. Kapag same ang sign, we add them and copy the sign. Kapag magkaiba naman ang sign, we subtract it. Meaning, if it's a positive and negative, we subtract it. And then we copy, we copy the sign of the bigger number. Okay? So, based from that, napansin natin na we have negative 3 and negative 6. Kasi pag pinag-add natin ang negative 3 and negative 6, the result is negative 9. After that, we put in parentheses x minus 3 and x minus 6. Gotcha! We have our answer. is x minus 3 and x minus 6. But what if it's like this? 4x squared minus 5x minus 6. Meron ng coefficient ang x squared. How are we going to factor that one? Okay. Ang gagawin natin, kapag meron ng coefficient si x squared, meaning kapag meron ng number si x squared aside from 1, gagamit tayo ng AC method. Ano yung AC method? Ganito siya. Solution. We copy lang. And then we identify A, B, and C. Yung first term, yung may x squared, yun yung letter A. Yung coefficient niya or yung number niya is 4, kaya si letter A is equal to 4. Letter B is equal to negative 5. And letter C is equal to negative 6. So yung x squared, that's the letter A. The one with x is the letter B. And then the one with the variables is the letter C. Take note, we copy this, their sign, ha? dala dala natin kung ano yung sign nila. After that, we need to multiply A and C. Okay? Imo-multiply natin sa letter A and letter C. Our letter A is 4. And our letter C is negative 6. 4 times negative 6, ang sagot ay negative 24. Okay? Next to that ay... We are going to find the factors of negative 24. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga factors ng negative 24? Oh, we list them together. Pero if we can easily identify the, fact, the, the factors of negative 24 na kapag pinag-add natin or we add them, the result must be the middle number which is negative 5. We can do that. Pero if medyo nalilito pa tayo or medyo we find it difficult, to easily identify, ang gagawin natin, we need to list. Ililist natin yung all the factors of negative 24. Ano-ano yon? Since it's a negative, meaning magkaiba sila ng sign. Ng dalawang number, ng dalawang factor. So we have 4 and negative 6. Negative 4 and positive 6. 
we have 1 and negative 24, negative 1 and 24, 12 and negative 2, negative 12 and 2, 3 times negative 8, negative 3, and positive 8. Out of that factors, which of that or uh, which among those numbers na pag, or pag pinag-add natin or when we add them together, the result is negative 5. So we have 3 and negative 8 because 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Next step, we copy the original number, 4x squared minus 5x minus 6. Ang next step natin ay yung negative 5x, the negative 5x, we are going to replace that by 3x minus 8x. Okay? I repeat, the middle term, which is negative 5x, we replace that one by 3x minus uh, 8x or negative 8x plus 3x. Okay, paano ko ma-identify kung mauuna ba si 3x or mauuna si 8x sa paglagay natin? Dapat, i-consider natin na the first two term is factorable, meaning meron silang GCF, may common factor sila. Okay? So, kung si 3 ang, ang iuuna ko isulat, 4 and 3 have no common factor. Dapat, uh, titingnan natin kung meron ba silang common factor. Kaya ginawa ko, sinulat ko muna as is minus 8x bago mag 3x kasi 4 and 8 has common factor or GCF. And then 3 and 6 has also, have also common, co common factor. Meron silang common factor. Dapat yung first two terms ay common, may common sila. And then yung next third and fourth term ay meron din silang common para ma-factor out natin. Next step. Okay, we factor out. I-factor out natin yung first two term and then i-factor out din natin yung three and the fourth term. For 4x squared minus 8x, ang factor niya ay, yung common factor niya ay 4x, kaya we have 4x times x minus 2. Bakit naging x minus 2? Review lang natin on monomials. Yung GCF ng 4x squared and 8x ay 4x. Next, we put in parenthesis. The first uh, term in the parenthesis is we are going to identify which, which number or variable are we going to multiply to 4x so that the result is 4x squared. That would be x minus 2. Bakit 2? Ano yung number na multiply natin kay 4x squared? For it to become 8x, that would be 2 or negative 2 since it's a negative x. Plus, common GCF or common factor of 3 and 6 ay 3 times x minus 2. Bakit x minus 2? Number or variable na multiply mo sa 3 to become 3x ay x. To become negative 6 ay negative 2. To check, ang gagawin mo, you multiply lang them or you distribute 4x times x, 4x squared ba? 4x times negative 2, negative 8x ba? Ganun lang yung pag-check. 3 times x, 3x ba? 3 times negative 2, negative 6 ba? So, for us to check kung tama yung sagot nyo, ganun lang yung gagawin nyo. You are going to distribute the number. So, kung uh, tama yung result, then tama yung process na ginagawa natin. After that, ganito yung gagawin. We copy 4x plus 3. Ayan o, 4x plus 3, the violet one, times x minus 2. Okay? We copy lang this one as 1. Therefore, the factor of 4x squared minus 5x Minus 6 is 4x plus 3 times x minus 2. Let's have another one. Factor of 4x squared minus 12x plus 5. Ano yung unang step? We copy. Identify a, b, and c. a is 4, b is negative 12, c is positive 5. We multiply A and C. 
4 times 5, 20. Good. After that, list all the factors of 20. What are the factors of 20? 4 and 5, negative 4 and negative 5. So we have positive and positive and then negative and negative. Since negative and negative will result to positive. 1 and 20, negative 1 and negative 20, 10 and 2, negative 10 and negative 2. So that's all the factors of positive 20. Next is, which or which among these factors, now when we add them, the result would be the middle number, which is the negative 12. Or yung result dapat niya is letter B. That would be negative 10 and negative 2. Since negative 10 minus 2, the result is, positive, is negative 12. When we combine them, we add them. Kaya neg negative 10 minus 2 is negative 12. Okay, we copy lang the original one. Next, yung middle term natin, the middle term, papalitan natin ng minus 10 and minus 2. I repeat, pag nagsulat tayo kung sino mauna, si negative 10 ba or si negative 2, dapat the first two terms is ha or have a common factor and the third and the fourth term has also a common factor. Meaning, dapat si first and second term may common sila na factor. Si third at saka si fourth term may common sila na factor. So, we have, we factor out the first two terms. And then, the third and the fourth one, it becomes 2x times 2x minus 1 minus 5 times 2x minus 1. To check, just multiply. We copy 2x, the minus 5. And then, copy as 1 yung 2x minus 1 or yung magkaparehas. Therefore, the factor of 4x squared minus 12x plus 5 is 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 1. That's the AC method. Kapag merong coefficient yung x squared. Thank you everyone. If you have any question, you can comment below in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions. Once again, this is Tisha Mel.